Sounds like a great system. And what a service to amateur radio. And what a service to emergency services and to keeping communication between the two. Well, at least that's what I thought. Recently, the SARNET was uh, taken over by the Florida State Emergency Management. And like with most things that get taken over by a larger uh, entity, uh, and it's kind of a secondary thing, uh, things get pushed to the side. For instance, our repeater was down here for eight months uh, in Fort Myers, and uh, this is an area that's affected by, oh, I don't know, major hurricanes and things like that, and our repeater was down for eight months, and we never really got an explanation as to why or when it was coming back up. It just suddenly came back online one day. So we've got this beautiful system. It's 40 plus repeaters. They're all on UHF. And you would think this is an amazing thing. You would think, here we go. Finally, a, a, a major system that puts people in contact all across the state of Florida, the state with the largest hurricane threat. To have a system like this would be amazing so that people can stay in contact with their family and people can have a radio in an emergency that someone will answer. Well, not so much. Sorry, not so much. 